Hey. Hey. Uh, so we are now in New Zealand. Um, we just landed a few days ago. Yeah. Uh, we already kind of missed Peru. Yeah. So. Missed the chocolate. Me too. So we've thrown together a, a short compilation of our time there uh, that we're going to share with you. Yeah, hope you enjoy. As soon as you venture out and start walking around Lima, the first thing that you're going to notice is the architecture. It's beautiful. We spent most of our time just walking around, constantly looking up, looking around, admiring the old buildings, admiring the colourful buildings. We went to a couple of churches that were really beautiful. We even did a tour of one. We went all through the cathedral and down to the catacombs underneath, but we weren't allowed to film there, so we'll just tell you about it instead. On one of the first days that we were in Lima, someone that we met at our hostel graciously took us to the market. It was quite a walk from our hostel, but it was definitely worth it. When we got there, we saw so many fruits that we had never seen before and were able to purchase and try them out. Everything that was on display was in season and perfectly ripe and really, really cheap. Although we tried a bunch of exotic fruits, we ended up defaulting on good old reliable avocados, tomatoes and onions to make guacamole. Occasionally at our hostel, we pooled resources with other people who were staying there and made dinner to share. If you find yourself in Peru, you should definitely check out the avocados they make for some fine guac. As well as having beautiful food and beautiful people with whom to share that food, we found that Lima also had a lot of really beautiful art. On our many walks throughout the city and throughout the countryside, we found a lot of paintings, murals on the sides of buildings, and really cool sculptures and statues. We even found llamas! We had an amazing time in Lima and worked well as a hub for our time in Peru. But it was time to move on to brighter and higher up pastures. After about a week in Lima, we packed our backpacks and hopped on a bus to Cusco. The bus journey was long. It was meant to take 22 hours, but it took 24. There wasn't any uh, vegan food on the bus, so that was a downside but we made do with some homemade uh, quinoa and some trail mix. The ride was bumpy and eventually when we started going up into the mountains, I felt a bit sick from the altitude. Throughout all of that uncomfortability, there was beautiful scenery around us, so it was easy to distract ourselves. And when we got to Cusco, tired, hungry, and having not walked for 24 hours, we found it was worth it. Cusco is a beautiful city, one with a very different flavour than Lima. Cusco is quiet, it's a city surrounded by mountains and fields. There isn't the constant traffic that there is in Lima. There isn't as much going on, but what's going on is really special. After walking through this beautiful city, admiring both the scenery and architecture, you might find yourself at another big market. This is the place to come for all your fruits, vegetables, breads and fruit juices. While in Cusco, we also participated in a chocolate making class and went to a really cool vegan restaurant, but you can learn about that in another video. When we got back from Cusco, we headed to Barranco, another interesting place to find yourself in Peru. Significantly hipper than the other cities mentioned in the video, this place is rich in fun things to do, quirky stores, and vegan restaurants. Before you visit, you can pick up a biomap from a visitor center, highlighting all the vegetarian, vegan, organic, and raw stuff in the area. This is really handy when you're walking around looking for somewhere to eat and something to do. The map led us to a vegetarian restaurant just up from the Bolivar stop on the bus. Almost everything on the menu was vegan, and everything could be made vegan. We ordered their daily set menu for 16 solas. 
It was a three course meal and it was delicious. It wasn't like what I expected it to be. It was much better. The staff were really friendly as well and very excited about what we were doing. If we had had time, we would have gone back there to try some of their vegan ceviche, one of Peru's most famous dishes. But it wasn't on offer that day. We really enjoyed Barranco. We didn't spend much time there, but it was a nice medium between the quietness of Cusco and the busyness of Lima. We enjoy walking around, seeing the incredibly colourful buildings, not knowing what you're going to turn a corner into. We ended up stumbling into another chocolate museum. This one was more of a factory that supplied the other museum on the other side of the country. We were given another free tour and learned a bit more about how chocolate works. So we had an amazing time in Peru. Um, we're really excited to continue with the adventure in New Zealand. Yeah. It's already been really, really fun, and we've only been here for a few days. Bye. Bye.